Hello everybody, welcome back to Stinker 77. We are back on Full Craft today, and this is episode 11. We're back, finally. Uh, most of my family duties have been taken care of, so I have a little bit of time now. I can actually get back to doing some recordings. So in case you didn't know, my brother, his name is Brian, also known as King Wayland on the server and the Minecraft community, uh, passed away last week uh, from heart issues. It was uh, tragic. It was um, a shock. It wasn't so much a surprise because he had been having heart issues, but it was very much a shock. He was only 45 years old. And so last week on Sunday during a stream, we came over to King Wayland's base and we started to try to finish the work that he had done. Uh, he had dug this uh, pathway here, and he, we put in some apple trees and things like that. This pathway then led to his castle, and we finished that castle. This castle only had to about where these windows are right here, so we decided we would try to go into creative mode. And I am still in creative mode, um, and I'll, I'll switch that back in just a little bit. But uh, we were in creative mode, and everybody was just helping out, and it uh, was therapeutic for me because I got to talk about my brother. And uh, so here's has his little statue, King Whalen, and we made this nice looking castle. Um, it's got some neat features. He had made uh, the waystone inside here, so we kept that. But if you go up a little bit, he goes up to another landing. And if you go in and you go up some more out here, uh, we made a little throne room for King Whalen. It looks really cool. And I really want to thank all of the people who showed up that night. I know some people were here otherwise. But during the night, during the stream, DSA was here. Kent was here. Uh, Thomas was here. And uh, it really helped out. So thank you guys for the work. So over here, we have a little beacon there. And then I believe Thomas built this nice little ship that came in. And used some of the features that we have inside of uh, full craft for these, like, these ropes and things that you see which is really cool. It's just really nice. And then over here, uh, they made a little waterfall and a little pond area with the uh, the apple bench making an appearance, which is just fantastic. Thank you guys. It looks really good. It's nice to have some friends who will take the time out to do some stuff like this. And this looks to be still a work in progress. Uh, it looks like a big statue of King Whalen. Uh, looks like they have placeholders in here. There is a sign that says it's work in progress. So things are still going on a week later. Uh, but, you know, it, it's great that just everybody came over to celebrate and and uh, celebrate my brother. So thank you to everybody for all the well wishes and the and the uh, condolences that were on the YouTube videos and on the Twitch. Um, my family and I really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So uh, I am going to uh, land here. There we go. We've landed. I am in Kratos, so I'm going to go to survival. There we go. And I'm going also going to de-op myself. Oh, I got to de-op. So I'm back to being like a normal, normal user. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to head back to the base, and we're going to start this episode and see what we want to do. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't had a lot of time to think about it, but I've, I have some ideas of what I was trying to go for. Maybe we'll get back to that. One of the first things I'm doing right now is I'm doing some maintenance here. Uh, I haven't been on for so long that these uh, resource gathering units, uh, these was well, that was the ore miner, I believe, and this is the botanic miner. They're just packed. Packed with stuff, and I really need to take this and get it into the storage system. I was looking for bamboo on here, and I don't think we ever found a way to get that, but I'm just taking it over. I'm going over here to the storage system, throwing it in there for now, and letting those things still work. We'll sort it out a lot later. I also want to check my uh, chickens, make sure they're still happy. And, you know, just doing some general uh, maintenance here before I uh, get into the episode proper. Okay, so thanks. So I think for today, for this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the void ore miner you have upstairs there, outside, and the botanical miner. And I'm going to make a room for that and for the other type of miners. I believe there's a, like four different ones that we can have. And I'm going to make that room. Now, I... We don't want to run into the sea that we've been hitting over here in the island. So I want to go a little bit deeper for this one. Uh, so I'm going to go down to, I think, layer 30 or so and make a large, large room. And this will be kind of like a mechanical room or uh, something that you don't normally see. And I want the elevator to go down to it. So I'm going to dig down to layer 30 from this spot. And then I'll dig this in here and get the elevator working. And then we can use the bee creeps 
and build out some rooms. Um, get the room decorated right, and then we can start making these controllers. So that's the think the plan for today. So here we go. I'm gonna start digging. When I get back, hopefully we'll have an elevator working. Here I am at the top, the main entrance to the base. This is where people will come in with this waystone. And I've added the elevator to another floor, which I'm calling the mechanical room. So at the main entrance, this is where we are. And as you are aware, probably, you go to the main floor. And you can see us go past the little ship. We're going down here. And this is where we've been working a lot. Now I have to do a little bit more editing, getting this fixed up. I just had to change this to work on the elevator. I gotta get the parts out. In fact, let's try to look at this right now. Uh, what would that be? Chiseled? Let's see if we can find that piece. Uh, that right there. And we need to get one of those lights. I didn't meant to do this earlier. It's an inverted light. One of these right here. Okay. We'll put this down. There it is. And one of the lights. There we go. Everything looks good. There. Fixed it. Anyway, so we go back in here. And we hit the mechanical room. And the elevator goes down further. And... There we are. We're at the right floor. I haven't dug this out yet. And that's the next step. We're going to dig this out. We're going to make this room a lot bigger so that we can work with those uh, void ore uh, extractors, miners, and resource ones, and botanical, and all that stuff, and get it into a room down here. So let me uh, take this out. I'm standing here in the elevator. As you can see when I step out here, I took the note blocks out, but I have the nice big room. My intention will be to have sort of stairway going down. And on each corner area will be one of those facilities for the void ore miner and the resource miner, botanic miner, and those things. So uh, I took out more than what I really need, but I think it'll work out. Uh, the meat creeps, I use those guys again, and I did basically a 3x3 three three grid of their 13x13. Uh, 13 13. So this room should be 39x39. Uh, 39 39. Okay, so we're going to work on next getting the floor and the walls and the ceiling looking kind of right and making the uh, ability for me to actually get down here. <laughs> and then after that, we'll work on putting in the, the um, machines, okay? So let me just work on getting the room looking nice. It's been a few days since the last clip. Uh, right now, it's the 4th of July in the morning. Uh, I did upgrade the server to the latest version and then everybody started having trouble, so we had to do some reverting back and uh, that took a little bit of time. Plus everything that went on with uh, helping my mom uh, deal with some of the things from my brother's uh, belonging. So I uh, haven't had a lot of time. I'm still trying to get this out. I think things are calming down now. I do have all day today. The day is, I have the day off. So I want to show you what I've done so far here. We're going to go down. Did I call it? Should have called it. There it is. Okay. So as you recall, I had the room that I had built. Or rather, I dug out. And I now have done this. I have created this room here. You can see I made some, uh, using chisel and bits, made a railing here. And we have, yeah, it's like ceiling's okay. It has some lights on it. And we have the four quadrants where the four different types of uh, extractors will be. I put little fans for some decoration. I did some other things too. This here is an elevator block. And if you can see here, I did a kind of like four pixels back. I used chisel and bits of this same material going up. So it gives it a little bit of a, of a recessed look and I really do like that a lot okay but anyway there are these four squares here and these are the four different types that we were talking about and so now I want to go upstairs and move the ones that we already have so let me go get to the botanical one and we'll bring that one down first here I am this is the botanical let's see if I get it there the botanic minor controller and you can see here it's one two three four blocks up so we're going to take this completely down and we're going to try to uh, set this back up down there. So take the crate. That's easy. And uh, let's see if we need that piece there. I'm trying to mine it all here. I can do most of this on camera because with vein miner it's pretty easy. Let's get all these. Right. Get all these. There we go. Need that. Need that. And let's get this and hopefully don't fall through the hole. Here we go. Ready? Okay, we got everything, and there's that hole there. I'm going to put a little piece of cobblestone over it. Okay, now let's go over to the into our base here. This is the little shortcut, and we'll go down in and see if we can put this thing, uh, set this thing up, okay? Back down to the mechanical room. Here we go. Go down. I'm going to put it all over on this side. Now, we said it was three blocks up, or three below it, I mean. And then on top, okay? So what you do is you take this botanic miner controller. I'm going to put it right here on top. 
And there it is. Now, I don't need any rest of these cobblestones, so I'm going to remove it. Okay, there we go. Now, with this assembler, if you right click on it, it will start to, if you have the materials, it will start to uh, build that particular machine out. Okay, and we still have all those from when we built it, so it's going to do that right away. Here we go. Okay, and it should be about done. And you know it's done because you can see there's like a, a a beam from a beacon going up into it that tells you that it's ready to go this has to go all the way down to bedrock and we have it going all the way down to bedrock so now what we do is we just put a crate beside it and it will then dump its items into this crate we'll eventually hook that up into the storage system now it does need power so I've been using the flux networks here this flux point okay and I just usually put it on top but uh, we'll put it on the opposite side of where we're putting the, the uh, crates and things because um, I don't know if we're going to hit the ceiling eventually, so I'll just put it over here so I get used to it. We'll do the pirate base. And there we go. Now it's receiving power. So this will start to uh, get various plant materials and put them in this crate. Isn't that really cool? That's pretty cool. Back outside, we're going to move the ore miner. This ore miner is a tier 3 ore miner. And you can see here, we're, again, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the ore miner, okay? So we're going to try to take this thing down, and we'll set this back up down there. Now we have this, uh, uh, the ender chest here with red, red, and that should retain that, but we'll make sure here. Let's grab it, and then we're going to take all this down. Now, I hope this will all uh, hook up correctly when we get back down there. Um, wow, it's neat little particle effects. We'll get this piece here. Okay. Now I did go underneath here and block off this so I know it won't fall through, because I was worried I would uh, do that. So uh, have things fall through and I have to go get it. So let's get all these. Okay. And these blocks here, you know, takes a little bit of time. We'll get it. Don't want to lose them because uh, we need them to rebuild. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. So now we're going to get all of this down there. We're going to set this up. Let me go get this uh, all finished up here. All right. I'm down here. There's the botanical. We'll look at that in a second. But here is this is the... Uh, five that we want for the ore miner. I'm, now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put this on top. There we go. Now we'll go here and we'll just get rid of all the stuff. Watch out for the hole. Now this assembler, I believe it's a way, there's a, oh, no, no, no. Oh, phew. well, I got to do that over again. Uh, but I believe there's a way when you put it down that tells you what you need with the assembler. Let's see here. Is it this button? Yes. Yeah, so if you left click on it, it tells you what you need. See, we need to have these particular blocks to make tier three and these for tier four. So that's what I use uh, to make this originally when I did this in a stream. Okay, so we're going to get this set up here. Remember, I need to go five up, so let's uh, do that. There's one, two, three, four, five. I'll put this on top. And then we'll use this assembler by just using right mouse click. And it slowly builds it. Now, you got to be able to see it. I can, I can get up here now and do this. So see, slowly builds it. It's kind of cool looking. If you have all the parts, it'll build it for you. Now, this cobblestone is probably getting in the way, so let's get rid of that. Okay. And keep going, building. There we go. Almost done. And did it light up for the power? There it goes. Boom. All right. And now I'm going to put on this side facing inward. That's like this is facing the inside here. I'll put this right here. Good, and that'll bring in items for ores and things. And then I'll put the power back here and select the network, and there we go. So it should be getting power, everything's good. Now let's go over here to this botanic one and see if it's produced anything. It's just going in the crate. It's not going into our storage system yet. And you can see here, we did get some beetroot and some leaves and carrots and things. Now there are some of these that don't really have a texture or something's wrong with them, but that's okay. It's still there. So it's producing things for us. That's fantastic. So now we have to get the other two here. Now, if you go to the uh, in here and you look, you look for environment. That's how I start to do. You can see there's different things. We we want to make is a nanobot beacon. We need that. We have the solar array. We don't need solar array. We're underground. The ore miner. We've done that. We have done the botanic. I think the last one is this right here is the resource miner. So we need resource and the nano beacon. Okay. So we're just going to do that next. Next to the ore, we're going to make the resource miner. So if we go over here, we can see the resource miner controller. we got to make this block first, okay? And it takes litharite pavers. It takes all this stuff. 
we probably don't have a lot of that. Let me go into the actual uh, tool here. Not Botanic, not that one, that one. Okay, so we don't have much of that at all. Let's make these here. These are lithorite bricks. You get these uh, from here. So let's get four of those. There we go. Okay, so that'll work. We need to get obsidian. We have obsidian. Uh, I keep losing it here. Interconnects. We need these. Okay. And we need just a lens. Any lens will do. This, these are pretty easy to make. We're going to go with the clear one when it comes up here. I believe clear is just glass. Right there. Yeah, any glass. There we go. And we need to make the diode. That's easy. So here we are, the resource miner. We should have everything we need. And there it is. Okay, so this should go on top of here. And there it is. Now I'm going to click on this, and you can see what it says here. 24 structure frame tier 1s, 20 structure panels, 2 laser cores, and 1 lens. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's get the lens here. And uh, I believe it's one of these, right? Clear lens. Okay, we have that. And we need to have laser cores. I believe it said we needed two of these. Right? Okay, so that's good. What else did it say we needed? 20 structure panels. Okay, so let's see. I think we might have some of these already. Structure panels. We need 20 of them. And we already have four. So we need to get uh, 16 more. So let's see here. Where is it? Structure panel. So we need 16 of these. Fortunately, I've made a lot of these uh, inner uh, connectors already, so it all works really great. Okay, so that's good. And then we need to get 24 structure frame tier ones. Okay, so let's go in here. Structure frame tier ones. And these are 24. And we need a bunch of these interconnects. You can see they go right here. So that is this piece. And it looks like we need a centerpiece, which I believe is black concrete. So I'm going to go make up some black concrete right now. And then we'll come back and we'll set this all up. I'm back. I made a bunch of the black concrete. I'm going to throw it in here. And there we go. Okay, so we have one of these. And we need 24 interconnects, it looks like. So that we can make those uh, pieces for that. What we need for this piece environment. Let's see. We're trying to make these here. And we need 24 of these. So we need 24 of the interconnects. So we already have one. Oh, am I one short? It figures. Okay, so we need a bunch of these connectors. There we go. Make a bunch. We know we're going to be using them a lot. And then we'll make another one of these. There we go. So now we have all those 24 interconnects. Let's go in here and let's make the 24 structure frame tier 1s. And there we are. We should have everything we need. 24, 20, 2, and 1. Okay, let's get rid of the uh, cobblestone here. Okay. And now let's just hold down the right mouse button on this. And it builds out our device. And once it gets done, the beam should kick on. There it is. And this thing is now functioning. So now let's grab a crate here. I've got a bunch of those. And do I have any more flux? No, we don't. Let's make another one of these. There we go. Okay, so now this device should be putting out resources. I'm not quite sure what the resources are. It's not ores, um, but we'll, we'll see here in a second. Okay, it looks like the base. There we go. And it has power, okay? So we know that's com that's working. Let's go over here to Botanic. Once again, we'll look at that, just see what it's doing. So we got even more flowers. We got lots of plants. That's great. And this should be running here. And it is. Any ores that pop in, like iron and that sort of thing, goes through. Um, I haven't handled these yet, the various crystals and cinnabar and dimensional shards. Um, I've been just moving that by hand like this and then going into my system and just say, here, here you go. It's just like that. But it, it does work. Um, and I'll fix that up at a later time. Okay, so let's go see. Did this bring us anything yet? Look at that. We've got some purple terracotta and a sponge. Oh, wow, you get sponges. That's pretty cool, too. Okay, so we're going to start in just a second. The last one of these, which was, I believe, the nano one. What's it called again specifically? It is the personal nanobot beacon. We're going to work on that next. Let's do this. We've got to make this here, the personal nanobot beacon tier one. First of all, I know it takes a beacon. We'll have to make that. There we go. Okay, I believe we need to make a null modifier. We need more interconnects. Let's make a bunch of those interconnects. Where did it go? 
right there. Let's make a whole bunch of those. Probably as much as we have. There we go. A null modifier. Boom, there we go. Now, what do we have here? We got to make, looks like, mica. What is mica? Hmm. I guess a void, void resource miner makes that. Is that right? So we got to get something from here to make that. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so anyway, we can make these blocks here. Where is it? It's uh, just the crystals here. Um, yes. There we go. So basically right now we are missing this piece here, this mica piece. So we should get some here. Let's see, did we get any already? Because there's a chance we could have already gotten it. Wow, we get cobblestone. Ah, that's so great. So we're going to wait for a little bit, I think. Wait for this to show up. Um, I don't know how long it'll be. We'll see. I haven't received the mica yet, but if you look here, on the tier 1 miner, which we have, it takes us 0.36%, which is very low for the clear lens. But if we get a white laser lens, we have a 7.1% chance. Okay? So let's make one of those while we wait for this. And it might show up. I don't know. But basically what it takes here is you take a regular old lens, a clear lens, like that, and you put white dye with it. Gee, go figure. And there it is. A white lens. Did we get one yet? No. So we'll go in here. We'll knock this one piece out. And put this piece in. And that should kick back on. So now we have a higher chance of getting that mica, which we need. Uh, but the clear lens basically doesn't give any preference to any particular types. Each of these uh, different lenses can do, maybe you want to focus on something else. Or you want some sort of specific ore or resource. So that's what these are all for. And I'm using it right now. But normally I'll just use the clear lens. Okay, so now I do have to wait. So hopefully it won't be too long now that we've upped the percentage. I stepped away for a few minutes, came back, and there is a mica here. So we're going to grab that right now. Go in here. We're going to get this nano beacon thing done right now. And there it is, the personal nanobot beacon. Now, I have not made this. I've not seen it made. And it's similar, but not, to these. So we're going to place this. I'm assuming three blocks up, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so now we're going to left click on here, and it tells you I need four null modifiers, 20 structure frames, 12 structure panels. Four null modifiers. Okay, so let's see. The null modifiers, I believe, where are they? Are they these right here? And we need four of these. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And it said we need 12 structure panels. Okay, and the structure panels are right here. So... And it looks like we need, again, interconnects. So we'll make a bunch of these. Fortunately, we have a lot of those resources, iron and the redstone. So we'll do that. Okay, and we need 12 of these, right? There we go. Okay, and the last bit, it said that it needed 20 structure frame tier 1s. Okay. Now, I don't think we have any of those. We have tier 3s, right? So we got to get the tier 1s are right here and we need 20 of these so I don't think we have enough interconnects so we need 12 more of those interconnects right there there we go and we'll do this right here and there we go 20 12 and 4 we have enough of the parts we'll go on to this let me get rid of this uh, cobblestone uh, one thing I wanted to note and I, I don't know if it was clear these things usually take a hole all the way down to bedrock, which we've done here. So that's where the laser or the beacon beam that you see on these three go. Now, I don't know if this one needs it, but I put one there anyway. It won't hurt if it just covers it over. Who cares? So we're going to make this. Here we go. Oops. Can't make it over there because I can't see it. Let's see. I'm going to put these in my inventory so I can actually, in my hot bar, so I can see that they're being used. And there they go. All right. Now, I'm not sure. Okay, so I didn't have to make it that high. That's okay, though. Well, uh, I know that these things get kind of big after after a while. So now, I'm not sure what this does, but I do have to provide power. So let's go get another one of those flux. And we'll get the flux point. And we need more of the flux cores, which we need more of the <laughs> obsidian. Okay. 
Interesting. Now I know we were getting some obsidian here. We got one. Oh, I have to go get some obsidian. I don't have an obsidian maker yet. So let me go grab some obsidian. I know where I can get some. I'll go do that right now. Just got back. We're going to make some of these uh, flux cores now. That should be enough there to make a flux point. And there we go. Okay. And I'm putting this typically on the opposite side of where the output would be, or the output would be if it had output. I don't even know if it does. There we go. So it should be getting power now. And there it is. Now, I'm not sure what this one does. And I'll have to look into this. So let me go research because, I mean, it's powered. Does it have an output? Uh, I don't know. I will, uh, while I go and look, I'll put a, a crate down just to see if it does. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know that other people have been using this, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I go over to Ken Space here, Ken has all of these set up. He has, also has solar panels, but uh, I'm not going to do that yet. So down here, you can see how big these things can get. And I'm doing something very similar. But this one right here is the nano beacon. Okay. And uh, is that it right there? But I don't see any output coming off of that like the others. I see a glowstone, but that's not output. So I think um, we'll just have to wait and see what this does. Okay. Let me uh, head back to base and uh, do some research. And I'll tell you when I get back. Okay. I've done some research. And I know we're going to need some more of this mica. For fortunately, we have two. So I'm going to grab that here, and I'm going to show you what we're going to make here. So um, it looks like we had those null modifiers, if you will, that were here before, and they are this, null modifiers. Well, if you change that for something else, it'll give you the modifier or use the modifier. So I'm going to try for a regen one here, okay? So let's uh, go over here, and we're going to go for this regen modifier. Where is it? There it is. Takes this, all this stuff here. I think we have all of this. Okay, except for a null modifier, which we have right here, one of these. So let's grab this one and uh, give it to us. There it goes. Okay, we're going to try this out, see how this works. So here we go. This is a regen modifier. Now, if I put this in here, okay, I believe then we should be able to get uh, a regen, and there we go. We have regeneration on our character, okay? Now, these null modifiers, I believe there were only four on this, so... Uh, you could add more regen, I believe, or any other modifiers uh, that will work with uh, buffs. I believe that's what the case is. So that means over here, I wondered about this. There are these null modifiers on our ore extractor. Well, we could use, uh, I think there's a uh, haste over here somewhere. There's haste. Um, some other things too. We can throw those things in there and see how it goes. Luck various things so that'll work out really well we can add those to these as we go now my plan is that uh, in the coming days and some of the streams and things I'll be upgrading these to get these up to as high as we can go um, I may have power issues the flux network may not work as fast as I need or what have you but we'll figure this out as we go but uh, that's was my plan is to get this done today and we did and so soon I will finally get a video out to you all I feel terrible about it I feel so bad that I haven't gotten a video out um, but things happen uh, with my brother, as you know, so uh, yes, it's uh, kind of crazy. I'm going to go look and see if anything's changed over at the uh, other area where King Whalen's base is. doesn't look like anything's changed yet. The statue still hasn't been uh, updated or anything, and we don't have a lot here. We do have a telescope. Look at that. So maybe some people have been here and been doing some decorating, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. And I want to thank everybody again on the server who came out to do all this. I really do appreciate that. Um, it means a lot to me and my family that people uh, knew my brother would try to do things for their, him um, after his passing. So thank you everybody for doing that. Well, I think that's it for this video. I want to thank everybody for coming out and joining me. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon. You can select the all notifications and you'll get immediately notified when I post a video. I am getting close to 900 subscribers. We're trying to get to 1,000. So if you know anybody who doesn't subscribe to Tinker77, please, yes, please, please, you, 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 let them know. And uh, if you're here and you're new, please subscribe. Uh, help uh, the YouTube content creators like myself 
uh, try to succeed with what we're trying to do here. I need to get to that 1,000 so that we can keep on moving within YouTube. And that's going to be fantastic when we do. So again, thank you, everybody. And thank you for all the, uh, the wishes and everything for my brother and his passing. We'll be trying to get back to normal here. And uh, we'll continue on with full craft. So have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.